but we also have some new growth that's coming out of the top here. <laughs> It is July, late July here, and one of the things that we're gonna be talking about in the live stream today, if you guys are not following our podcast, we do that every Saturday at two o'clock Arizona time, and we take questions that we get from viewers and folks just coming into the farm. But one of the things we get this time of year is always, I think my tree is dying, or I think my plant is dying. And it will probably look like that for a lot of different things this time of year. We got shots of our grapevines here this morning, and it's real clear to see that they look like they're dying <laughs> because they're brown and it's July. But at the same time, you see that new growth on the tip, which is what I look for when it comes to that. So you know everything's actually still alive. But you know, everything's attacking you. You've got white flies on there, you've got the heat, you've got all these other things going on. And we've had some very, very hot days with extremely high UV. And so that really uh, does, a lot of, does a lot of damage to the leaves, but the tree itself is probably fine. Now we've got a project we need to do today, but in order to do that, we might need the tractor. <laughs> And a little Miss Mechanic over here took care of something this week. What'd you do? Last week I was doing something and all of a sudden I saw like a pipe and I'm like, what the heck is that? You are moving wood chips. You thought a pipe fell out of the wood chips. Yeah, <laughs> it's the exhaust pipe that the piece that holds it to the tractor had broke off. Thankfully, we still had that little piece and thankfully we have a neighbor that's a welder. <laughs> So Nate took it and fixed it for me and then I put it back on the tractor. Yeah, you are now um, a diesel mechanic. That's kind of how... Oh, yeah, is, that, is that how that works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you add that to your resume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? I just want to give you guys a few updates here today and one of those is our Moringa now. We plant Moringa at the beginning of the monsoon season, so these were actually planted a little bit early. They were at the end of June-ish. So we've had them in the ground now for about a month, and if you guys remember, we planted six seeds, and all of them germinated. Now, when we plant those seeds, we plant those basically in a circle, and the reason being, this cage has to remain because this is what we use to protect these during the winter time. And we need to be able to try to get the tree as 
center-ish in this cage as we can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out which of these is my best tree and remove the rest. All right, so help me decide here. This one closest to me. I think so too. That looks to like the best one, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes it easy. couple of updates here in kind of our tropical area. You can see our banana. The uh, mama is getting a little bit of a beating in the heat and the wind, but she's got some new growth coming out. Now our kids are actually doing really good as well. A little crisping on the leaves, which is normal this time of year, but they're growing nice and steady. And we have a third child. So it's on the backside here. Another update, this is our comfrey. We planted this here this spring and we're curious to see how it was gonna do. And you can see, um, got some growth that died back from the original plant when we planted it, but we also have some new growth that's coming out of the top here. <laughs> Did you get it, girl? Did you get it? She's like, oh yeah, here, pet, pet me. Hey, Theo. But you can see it's doing really good here, middle of summer. In fact, it even has some flowers on it. Hey buddy, are you helping? No. So you guys remember, I think it was about a year and a half ago, we planted a couple of pistachio trees. The tree you see next to me here is one of the two females. This is a Golden Hills pistachio. We also have the male that's cattle corner from where I'm at now that's uh, doing good as well. Now we haven't gotten any fruit set at all, but the trees themselves are actually growing really, really well and actually staying nice and green here in the middle of summer. All right, so one of the things about summer for us is we don't like being outside. No. At all. Because <laughs> no. it's a little warm. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update on a few things. One of the things that you'll see behind us here is one of our beds of tapari beans. Now these are the brown tapari beans and I will say, they probably do the best. Yeah. Uh, these came back completely on their own. We didn't have to plant these at all. And they're doing fantastic. In fact, we were growing tomatillos back here and they've essentially taken over the trellising yep. that we have for the tomatillos. <laughs> So, looks nice though, and we will have a bean harvest in the spring and a bean harvest in the fall. Mm -hmm. So, and those are an Arizona native. So Arizona. you gotta love that. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm in the Arizona desert and would love to see on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere. So can you. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. You're too far away from me. Why don't you sit so far away? Hmm. If I go this way, I'm, we're like, Oh. I guess this is good. There's you open can space. Scoot over a little bit. It's a good spot. Come on, Theo. Come on, buddy. There you go. Here you go.